Okay, everybody, we're back in the inner sanctum of next door in New Haven, Connecticut. I got the owner, Doug, here. We're gonna go through a couple of things that he makes prior to making the pizza. Mashed potatoes, we normally will be doing um, at least two 50-pound bags of mashed potatoes a uh, week. Um, that's a lot of peeling potatoes. <laughs> so uh, what we do is you can keep them fairly well in a bucket of water and we just take some of the potatoes, put them in a steamer pan. You can just uh, boil them or steam them if you have a, uh, a big pot with a steamer uh, insert. And I'm gonna go put, uh, put them in the steamer for 30 minutes, about how long it takes. You don't wanna cook them till they totally turn to mush, but they need to be soft enough to mash. So I'm gonna grab what I got in the steamer now and potato. kitchen asbestos hands. You know, I used to be thinking that would be something I would be proud of. Now I realize it's just lost. You just lost some feeling <laughs> in your hands, and that's not really something to brag about. Secret weapon for mashed potatoes, a ricer. Nothing works as good as this. Don't put it in a mixer. It'll just give you a pasty mess. Don't, uh, you know, the hand ones uh, will just give you a bunch of lumps. But watch this. This is just a thing of beauty. You should have your own TV show. Put a bunch of them in there. And then look at that. Not a lump anywhere in that. And all nice and light. Now, this gets a little tedious with 50 pounds. But it uh, goes a lot quicker and better than anything else. And there are some really crappy ricers on the market. Don't buy them, they'll break on you. Uh, this one I got on Amazon and it uh, is nice and sturdy and I can't see the brand name which is probably good because I won't get in trouble for mentioning a product. Now those Idaho potatoes, white potatoes. Oh, good point. No. These are Yukon Gold. They are the best potatoes for mashed potatoes. They nice, rich flavor. Don't use your basic chef uh, white potatoes. They taste uh, like bad white bread. Real butter, large quantity of it. Yeah, there's still a little of the uh, liquids in there. And heavy cream. Don't use milk and margarine and expect that you're going to have something worth eating. And stir it up. You want uh, a, you don't want to make soup. You want a, just a, a smooth consistency. You want it nice and nice. Nice and nice, a very nice. So the and then was... some salt. and some pepper. Probably should use white pepper uh, so it doesn't look like flies flew over your uh, mashed potatoes. Tell us what pies you use those potatoes in. We use these uh, pretty much in the just the mashed potato uh, pizza. Um, I think we might occasionally get a request for something with uh, mashed potatoes uh, that's not with the caramelized onions and bacon, but who can argue with mashed potatoes and bacon, you know? So, there are vegetarians who would, but uh, they're not in this room. What do you think, more butter or more cream or uh, what? I know this is cliche, but they're perfect. This, this reminds me of what my mother used to make. Well, I think the magic of this, Doug, is that ricer. It really isn't the consistency remarkable. It just... I might look stupid, but I'm not. You know, it's a simple thing that if done well, tastes right. But if you try and do uh, shortcuts, you just will not get the same uh, result. 